Hi, it's Richard Barrett from Guitarist. You've just heard a track featuring three new Gretsch models. I'm going to go through the specs in a bit more detail with you and there will also be some sound bites where I go through the pickup selections. This is the Vintage Select, this is Japanese made, 57 Duo Jet in Cadillac Green. It's a chambered mahogany body, so it's quite light and resonant and it has a mahogany neck with a rosewood board. Now the pickups are TV Jones T Armand, not D Armand, but T Armand. And we have what is a pretty common system for Gretsch where there's a volume for each pickup, neck and bridge, master tone at this end, and a master volume at the other end. And that master volume is wired with a treble bleed so that you don't lose all your high end usual three-way selector, a Bigsby, and what is called a synchrosonic bridge. So that's real 57 vintage correct. Here's the Electromatic Projet. This is a Chinese made, at a slightly lower price point, has a chambered basswood body with a laminated maple top. So the neck itself is maple with a rosewood board. Like the last guitar, it's a 12 inch radius and we are 22 fret. Two black top filtertrons, humbuckers. A tunomatic style bridge is actually called an adjustomatic. Bigsby again. And the same a neck and bridge volume controls with a master tone and volume. This is another vintage select, so another Japanese made Gretsch. This is a 58 white penguin in vintage white, as you can see. So we have TV Jones pickups and a slightly different circuit happening here. We have a volume for each pickup and a master volume, three-way selector as you'd expect, but here we have a preset tone switch. So down like that is a fairly significant roll off that happens automatically and up is a little bit more subtle. So that just enables you to toggle between three sounds in the middle here, which is the tone that I've used is bypass. So it's the brightest sound. It's a bit heavier than the other two. It's a chambered mahogany body with a maple top, a mahogany neck with an ebony board on this one. Uh, you've got the Bigsby as well. And it's worth pointing out that the Bigsby on these vintage select models gives you a bit more wobble for your buck than the one on the Chinese made, but they all work pretty well. They're quite stable. Next up, I'll be playing a few sound bites on each with just a raw clean amp sound so you can hear what the guitars are like in isolation. <laughs> 